YouTube, what's going on guys? Upcoming, I have a really good video on water testing. This isn't just any video on water testing. This is for you if you have a lot of fish and depend on your tap water. If you have expensive fish and depend upon your tap water. If you're thinking about getting a lot of or expensive fish or a lot of expensive fish and depend upon your tap water. This is going to be a really good video for you to sit around and watch. It's not groundbreaking, it's not mind blowing, but it's very important to see the water test as I run through it may not be applicable to your area, but you know what guys, there's a lot of good information just on looking at what the test, the scope of the test is so that you can see potentially how much stuff is actually in your water and what the standardized test kits for your tap water are actually testing for. Guys, stay with me and check this video out. I promise you, it'll be well worth your time. So this is what I'm using to test my water with. This is the H2O OK Plus. This is a complete water analysis kit testing for lead bacteria, which is what I'm most interested in, pesticides. Uh, you'll see those tests, test results in a minute. Here we go. Copper test is showing zero. Okay, so the iron test is also Showing zero so testing for the pesticide and lead. There's both negative results. Now we're going to do the six strip test hardness 250. And chlorine. 0 0.5 alkalinity 240 pH 9 which means that my water needs to gas yep that's where we are this is this is uh, sulfur Oklahoma tap water. This one I am testing for the coliform bacteria. And I've got the whirl bag. I've already filled it up with 100 milliliters of water. Dissolving the pill that's inside of it. This will have to go into this bottle and sit for 48 hours and we'll see what it looks like. And my last test shows that there is no chloroform bacteria. So that's pretty good. For those of you who are new to my channel who haven't seen this before, this is my old RODI filter, sediment filter. And here's what a new one looks like. So you can see this stuff is pretty nasty. All right, there we go reassembled ready to roll okay everything's been tightened up uh, there's your old stuff keeps all of your nasties out of the water and eventually this stuff does wear out guys it needs to be replaced okay guys so if you stay with me till the end of the video then you'll see that my water looks pretty good with the exception of that high alkalinity and High alkalinity at those levels is deadly to discus because high alkalinity completely strips off the slime coat or the mucus coat of your fish. And for discus, that's a critical thing to keep them healthy. One of the things I want you to keep in mind is that cities and municipalities don't alert the public. They don't care about fish keepers um, and, and the quality of your tap water. They care about whatever is healthy for people and follow their own regulations. They're not concerned with what's going on inside the fish tank or what's deadly or possibly harmful to, to your fish. So it pays really to do constant checks on your tap water, just like what I did. Guys, thanks for watching. Got another video coming soon. 
on alkalinity and how it affects discus. Stay tuned, guys. If you're not subbed, hit that sub button. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.